Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 17, Leçon D. And in this lesson we'll see together les verbes pronominaux and uh, we'll actually try to see whether it's possible to see one form or two forms, okay? So une forme ou deux formes. So let's start now. And so when we're talking about les verbes pronominaux, actually, we'll have, we will have several situations. The first one will be that, actually, this verb will only exist at this form pronominal. So it does mean that it, it won't exist at this other form non pronominal. Okay, so we'll see that. The second situation is that, uh, well, the two forms will exist, whether the pronominal and the non pronominal. And in, in these cases, well, actually, the meaning won't be that different. And the last situation, you will have the two forms existing, so pronominal and non-pronominal, but then the meanings will be quite different. Okay, so we'll start first with this situation when we've got only one form, la forme pronominale. Okay, so for example, we take this verb, se souvenir de, and it's quite interesting because, well, many students tend to make the mistake in a way when they want to use souvenir, well, they use souvenir without using this se, so actually they would like it to be non pronominal and unfortunately for you it doesn't exist, so actually souvenir like that doesn't exist and if you want to use this verb, you've got to use it with ce, so it will be la forme pronominale, okay? A few examples like s'absenter, s'écrouler, s'effondrer, se moquer, se méfier, s'enfuir, s'en aller. Okay, so in all these cases, actually, these verbs exist only with se before them, so pour la forme pronominale. Okay, so let's see now the meanings. S'absenter, s'écrouler, s'effondrer, se moquer, se méfier, s'enfuir, s'en aller. Okay, so you've got here the translations, and keep in mind that if you want to use them, you will have to use them with se, and then of course it will modify the way that you conjugate them. We've been seeing that previously, so you can check the previous videos about that. Okay? S'abstenir, s'efforcer de, s'envoler, se soucier, se souvenir, and that's it. Okay, so s'abstenir, s'efforcer de, s'envoler, se soucier, se souvenir. Okay, so it will be exactly the same situation. These verbs only exist, or they are only used as verbes pronominaux, so with this se before them, and they don't exist without it. Okay, so let's see now the second situation. So, deux formes, so they exist with or without se, so pronominal et non pronominal, and then the meaning is not really different. Let's take this example, so the verb, the verb attendre, okay, and then the verb s'attendre à. So, s'attendre à means to expe expect, yes, and then attendre is to wait. So, clearly, you can see that the meaning doesn't change that much. Le sens change peu. And then, la préposition peut changer, because you can see here that, of course, we've got the preposition a, okay? And we don't really have it right here, okay? S'attendre à, an example. Je m'attends à recevoir un appel. So, it's actually... And then... J'attends le train de 15 heures. Okay, so in that case, well, it will mean to expect. And then in that case, it will mean to wait. Okay, je m'attends à recevoir un appel. So I expect to receive a call. And then j'attends le train de 15 heures. Well, I expect the train that will arrive at 15 heures. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's check now. S'attendre à, and then attendre. Another one. Je m'attends à une belle surprise. Oh, then it would be possible also to use attendre like that. J'attends d'avoir une belle surprise. So it would be possible to express almost the same idea without using this uh, form pronominal. Okay. That's it. So now, if you want to use, uh, well, some verbs, sorry, some verbs will have two forms, as I said, so the, the two forms will exist, but then, strangely, the meaning will change, and actually, uh, these two verbs will look, uh, look alike, but then the meaning will be really, really different. Uh, well, an, an example like s'apercevoir and apercevoir here, okay, so s'apercevoir will mean to notice, and then apercevoir, to catch sight of, okay, so le sens change totalement, so the meaning uh, changes quite much, okay, and then la préposition peut changer, not in that case, but then, well, preposition might change uh, when you put that, whether at the form pronominal or non pronominal, okay, so we'll see a few verbs now, agir, s'agir de Aller, s'en aller, apercevoir, s'apercevoir de, attendre, s'attendre à, douter, se douter de, ennuyer, s'ennuyer, entendre, s'entendre avec. Ok, so I, let's see now the translations. Agir, s'agir de, ok, so I will respect exactly the same order for the translations, ok, so it will be... Agir, it's to act, and then s'agir de, to be about. Okay, so it will be exactly the same for the, the other verbs. Aller, s'en aller, apercevoir, s'apercevoir de, attendre, s'attendre à, douter, se douter de, ennuyer, s'ennuyer, entendre, s'entendre avec. Faire, se faire à, imaginer, s'imaginer, mettre, se mettre à, passer, se passer de, plaindre, se plaindre de, plaire, se plaire à, prendre, s'y prendre. Let's see now the translations. Faire, se faire à, imaginer, s'imaginer. Mettre, se mettre à, passer, se passer de, plaindre, se plaindre de, plaire, se plaire à, prendre, s'y prendre. Servir, se servir, tromper, se tromper, trouver, se trouver, and that's it. Servir, se servir, tromper, se tromper, trouver, se trouver. Okay, so remember that, well, we can have an example here now. S'apercevoir de, and then apercevoir. Je m'aperçois de mon erreur, and then j'aperçois un bateau sur la mer. Okay, so in these two cases, actually, the first one, s'apercevoir, will actually be translated by to notice, okay, and then here, j'aperçois un bateau sur la mer, to catch sight of, okay, so as you can see, well, of course, they look the same, because you get apercevoir and s'apercevoir, but then the meaning is really, really different, okay, so keep in mind that it's possible, when we talk about les verbes pronominaux, to have only one form, or then to have two forms, okay, pronominal and non pronominal, and then the meaning will be almost the same, okay, and then it's also possible to have these two forms with total, uh, totally different meanings uh, when it comes to uh, the form pronominal and non pronominal. Okay, I hope it was clear. Have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt.